Don't drink soda. The Ty and Mikey Show, episode 725. Action. Why does it say that still? Uh, I guess you didn't change it. Or Jerry didn't change it, I should say. It's Jerry job for sure. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, why does it say that still? Well, Useless. I thought it was supposed to be new every episode. <sighs> It's just uh, another example of the unprofessional work environment that we have to suffer through to, to get this show out to the world. Yep. So we'll do uh, we'll do the best with what we got, as always, Jerry. So go ahead and roll it. We're ready. You I'm ready? old. I'm tired, and I work with fucking children. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. All right. Computer, are you ready? Computer, are you ready? I'm ready when you are. Free candy, you ready? All right, cool. Let's do it. Smart plug, stand by. <laughs> Smart plug, give us a silent countdown. Yo, thank you for tuning into the Natural Habitat podcast. My name is Mikey Booyah. My name's Austin Ty. We got Smart Plug here. We got Computer, the one and only artificially intelligent podcast co host. Free Candy is joining us from Canada. He's piped in. Free Candy, can you hear me, bud? I think he can hear me. That's terrific. Yeah. yeah. He can hear us. We'll be able to hear him. Someday. Do you ever go back and hear the things that he says? Oh, yeah. All the time. Yeah, it's great. Good stuff. Good stuff Good for stuff. Candy. Um, and uh, we want to thank you for joining us. And we thank also you. want to allow you to thank us for being here. So you're just take like a moment of silence so they can do that? Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. You're very welcome. Um, now today is going to be a dicey episode. It's going to be real choppy. It's going to be dangerous. Chop, like a slap chop episode. Yeah, we are going to have, probably have to cut a lot of things out. It's going to be very dangerous things that we sh- aren't supposed to talk about. We're going to, yeah, things that are perhaps a little bit too taboo it's for, for the, the censors, the mm-hmm. YouTube censors, the global elite censors. Too hot for TV. They too hot say. for, oh yeah, this definitely isn't going on TV under yeah. no circumstances. Um, but before we get into that. Look at my shirt. I got a... What does it say there? Let me, let me inspect that. It says Natural Habitat Podcast, EST 2003, mm-hmm. Habit Rat Pizza. Habit Rat Pizza. Habit yeah. Rat Pizza. That's clever. It's clever. It's a play on the word habitat. And then you want to read, you wanna read yeah, the back? Yeah, let's see the back. The back, it says, at HP, Natural Habitat Podcasts, Habit Rat Pan Pizza. Number one podcast since 2004, and it's only $5 a slice for this pizza, this pan pizza. It's the best podcast in town, Mm -hmm. and it's served fresh straight to you for fast delivery. Call (coughs) 1-805-900-7301. So is it advertising pizza, or is it advertising the podcast, or both? So it's a collab between Between a, uh, a podcast and a pizza. See, we typically don't serve pizza. No, we don't serve pizza, but Habit Rat Pizza does. Yeah. And that's the big announcement that we want to make today is that we are going to be opening our own pizza restaurant. Yeah, and I feel like for the right price, for the right monetary value, like we can serve them whatever they want. You know what I mean? Like you want us to make you a lobster dinner for yeah. the right – you get that money right and get that bag in and we're going to make you the best lobster dinner in town. And we got a perfect location in your city. And it's right there, equal distance from everything. And we got like the Instacart yeah. gold. We got yeah. shipped gold. So we, I hear we could get things brought in. I hear they're closing down subways left and right. So your town is, chances are it's probably got two or three subways. Uh-huh. At any point, one of them's going to close soon. So like once slide you slide right in, slide into the comments, into the, you know, fire that off and let us know if your town has a, a subway that looks like it's on its last leg yeah. or is possibly already really, out of business. If you have more than one subway, yeah. then let us know. Yeah. Cause I mean, no town should be accommodating more than one subway at this point. Yeah. Po- in a post Jared world, no. No, not at all. So once those subways close down, we're going to slide in. We're going to open up Habit Wrap Pizza. And like Ty said, we can make anything you want. This isn't just going to be the menu is going to say menu, your imagination. Yeah, you we're, we're playing fast and loose with the menu. on your pizza. You know, we will only make you pizza. No pastas, no bread sticks, Absolutely not. No, no bullshit no, like that. No, no. No two no. liters of pop. No. None we, of that. No two liters of pop? No two liters of pop. Uh, no, no. None of that. No chips and salsa. 
<laughs> like a chips thing. and salsa get out of here no peanuts while you wait none of that no you're you think you're gonna throw peanut shells on the ground like yeah. it's some sort of fucking like it's some sort of slop house no no this no. is a fine dining experience yeah so you come here you get pizza only and then you get to tell us what you want on your pizza and then you we get it and depending on what it is that you ask for, it might be a little bit longer for us to make your yeah, pizza. Yeah, yeah. It might be a, the type of deal where we flash freeze it and send it to you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, you could get it later on, depending on where we have to get it. But for the most part, if you're cool and you ask for, you know, a pepperoni. Yeah, and just to make this clear for, for the, you know, people out there that are, you know, prone to believing in conspiracy theories, this is just pizza. Just literal, actual, physical pizza that you eat. There's no children involved, Matt. There's nothing like that. It's not pizza no. gate. This People is like to pizza. read into that a lot. Yeah, it's just pizza. Good old-fashioned pizza like Domino's <clears throat> makes, but only much better. And that's why we went with no pasta. We didn't want to do yeah. because pizza and pasta, it's yeah. like a whole thing. Yeah. So pizza only, pepperoni if you're cool. We got pe- plenty of pepperoni. We got cheese. We got the dough. Yeah. And uh, it's just an exciting time for us because I think the pizza place is going to make a lot more money than the podcast. Place. Oh, almost certainly. Yeah. Um. So it's been a big. Uh, it's been a big week. Exciting, exciting week. Yeah. Uh, I guess the biggest news to get into first would be the Diddy drama. Did he do it? Puff Daddy, yeah, has been in a quite a you know a bit of hot water here this past week or two, mm-hmm. um, you know, resulting from some allegations that have been made regarding to some sex trafficking, and really, there's just been a whole lot of allegations thrown his way by from a number of different people, just kind of yeah. coming from all different directions. From I think the first thing that came out, I don't remember if we talked about it or not, was <coughs> that the um, singer that he was previously in a relationship with, both you know professionally and in like a like a sexual relationship, Cassie. Yeah. She sued him and the lawsuit came out. It got settled quickly, but the lawsuit came out. So everything that was in it, you know, became public record. And is and that where the gay some, shit came from? Yeah. There was, there's all kinds <laughs> of wild stuff that came out of that, that first lawsuit there. And then, you know, he quickly settled that. But at that point, the floodgates just kind of came open of, of yeah. anybody who's even dealt with him in the past, you know, whether or not they've he's wronged them mm-hmm. rightfully or not, seems to have some sort of story about Puff Daddy just being a real monster. Yeah, and it was sex like, pervert. it was small allegations here and there after that first lawsuit. And then just a few days ago, Homeland Security uh, raided three of his houses, all three, three of, of his, his houses, Yeah, yep. kicked in the doors, synchronized their watches. They were in different time zones. They all kicked them at the same second, Yeah, got in there. Uh, on the anniversary of Biggie's song, Kick in the Door, is being it really? released. Yeah, which is wild, wild coincidence. Kick there. in the door, waving the 4-4. All you heard was Papa Don't Hurt Me No More. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Is that really the... Yeah, it was... I Damn, saw that. I mean, I, I didn't fact check it, but I saw some. Do you think Homeland that. Security's cool? Oh, yeah. You think that's what it I is? They did it on purpose? Yeah. They were waiting for that day? 100%. So Homeland Security kicked in the door, waving a 4-4, and... Uh, Serve these warrants for human trafficking and sex trafficking and shit. Yeah, yeah. And now, now human trafficking, like, I feel like pretty much any sex crime has kind of just, like, been lumped into the, human the umbrella of the human trafficking. Yeah, like, whether you're pimping, you know, even if you're just a standard street pimp, all of a sudden, it ain't pimping no more. No. I mean, it's already hard out here for a pimp. But now all of a sudden it's it's trafficking, which seems far more grim and serious and just, yeah, you know, frankly to me is scary. But I mean, technically it is, I guess. So I mean, like we don't <clears throat> exactly know until everything that Homeland Security has on Puffy comes out, like the lawsuit did. We don't really know. All we can do is speculate, and speculate yeah. we have been doing. Yeah, we have. And then um, the next big story was that Diddy's plane touchdown in the caribbean somewhere yeah see i i think that was the rumor the day of but i think yeah, just recently it came out that he wasn't on the plane wasn't on the plane but he could have been you know shipping a whole ton of evidence off or, <laughs> yeah. or something you yeah. know like something there's a happen. reason why his private jet just suddenly decided to take off to a, <laughs> a country that doesn't allow extradition yeah that was weird and uh whether he was on the jet or not, everybody heard that first story. 
And then also they, they arrested his drug mule, who like is a, is like a teenage looking boy. I mean, this looks like a high school kid, just like a geeky white kid. But supposedly this is Puff Daddy's personal drug mule, who's responsible for you know providing him with a wide array of drugs, like oh, shit. basically everything in the book, according to you know the information that's come out. Okay. And they detained him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. People are now coming out with all these like creepy stories and things that they heard and things that they experienced and it's uh the floodgates are wide open yeah i mean people have been speculating this and that about puff daddy for years whether it's that he he set up tupac which he probably did i think that is going to be confirmed at some point in our lifetime because i I, from my understanding is that is what happened yeah he he paid off um, well that was another thing or whatever yeah recently keefy d was in court and under oath he said that he got paid by puff daddy right and i think at some point you know like enough evidence to link that is going to come out Mm -hmm. maybe in in keefy d's trial or whatever but there's that there's um remember the the nightclub shooting that he got he got um somebody else yeah. to take the fall for, but supposedly he shot up that nightclub with yeah. Jennifer Lopez and all them and then now he I wonder, went on like a white Bronco chase and then uh-huh. I wonder if this uh this raid for the sex trafficking and human trafficking is really a ruse so that they can get access to his phone and computers and prove that he's guilty. Because, I mean, somewhere he had to have been talking yeah. to someone about... I mean, there's even the rumors Tupac and speculation stuff. that he, he set Biggie up because Biggie was wanting to leave Bad Boy. And they yeah. had, like, a falling out that not many people knew about right at the end of there. And, you know, he ended up having Biggie shot. So, you know, there's there's already just always been, like, a gray cloud over the head of Puffy. Yeah. And it's not looking good for Diddy. So, uh, did he do it? We don't know. Time will tell. Yeah. Now, should we get into the joke that I made? Yeah. So I, 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 you know, this all came to light and I text Mikey over here. I was like, well, this really just makes you wonder dot, dot, dot. Did he do it? Did he do it? But I spelled it D I D D Y, like yeah. the dude's name. So, and it, then you sent that to me, and it was funny. It was I super thought it fun. Was, it I sent hilarious. it to, to three it or four great. people. Um, one person even said, "Ha ha 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 ha." Mm-hmm. It, it went over. It went over very well <laughs> yeah. with with everybody that I sent. But it to. then uh, you immediately texted me right after. Yeah, and you said, uh, "Do you get it? Did he like? Did he?" Yeah, well, I mean, there's Maybe a chance that it. there's a chance that you weren't hip to the lingo to, you know, maybe you were just still calling him Puff Daddy and you weren't aware that he was even going by, by Diddy. 12 years ago, he changed his name to Diddy. But then he changed it back and he's Brother Love for a minute and yeah, then he's true. Puff again. And it's just, you know, his whole name situation is confusing at times. So I just wanted to make sure it didn't sail over your head. No, I liked you know it, what I mean? but then you explained it to me and then I didn't like it afterwards. And then I saw you. I don't in public. think me explaining it to you <clears throat> negates the whole and original then I ran joke. Into you like probably a half hour later, and then you asked me again. If you I can't had... retroactively not find something funny. You know, <laughs> like if you found it funny to begin with, you can't be like, "Oh, why well, I, I didn't." Yeah, you can. It happened no, to me can't. with Grandma's Boy. I thought Grandma's Boy was funny, and then I rewatched it, and it's not funny. But it was funny the first time you watched it. Like, well, are are you really supposed to find things just as funny the the second and third time? No. Yeah. Okay. I guess you're right. So, yeah, I mean, yes, it was funny. It was a good joke. It was. It was a good joke. I just wanted to share that with all you guys. It was really good. So, uh, now do you want to get into Zila? Yeah, we can touch on Zila. Yeah. Um, Zila has been out here wilding ever since, uh, ever since forever, really. Yeah. Well, since my childhood. And I mean, was that Zila or was that Britney? I guess we should explain. Britney Spears has recently um, rebranded herself as Zila, mm-hmm. X-I-L-A. Is that what it was? Yeah. I'm assuming that's how she pronounces it. And apparently it's, you know, like, it's not just a new name. It's a new a New Zila. It's a New, Z- new Zila. Like New, new Zealand. Zealand? New Zealand, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so she changed her name to Zila. She's having a hard time understanding English. And she's out here wilding now that she's free. Yeah. And I love how, uh, like, everybody wanted to free Britney, and then you free Britney, and this is what we get. Yeah. I we mean, it kind of makes you wonder, team. like, whether she should have been under that conservatorship or whatever it was that she was bound to. 
Yeah. And maybe we should have never freed Britney, but you know what? We freed Britney, and now we got Zila. Now, see, like, and I mean, I don't know that we need Zila free. You know what I mean? Like, I was trying to free Britney. Um, this Zila character sounds like it could be problematic. Yeah. So, um, she, I remember I saw this video of this bum. And he was walking around, and he was screaming. Just a rambling derelict. And he said, like, uh, wait, here, let me see. <laughs> Just kind of, like, gibberish. Yeah, gibberish. And then he said, here we go. He said, here we go a lot. Oh, here this we is go. it. Yeah. No, she's supporting her name. Was that Catholic by her demand? A man I'm supposed to talk to. Well, she doesn't know what to do. She says we shot her from Collierville. Says she hates me ever since I arrived. Says I'm not allowed to go on her. Because it would be too challenging in court. That I would not be an occupant. So it's eloquent to me. This is like a, a, a fine public speaker. Right. Not with yet, this have a policy. This liver says she has moved him. And that she just, you know, oh, she don't want the challenge. Here we go. She plays with Pittsburgh Steelers. She, she wants no bowling green in Ohio. I'm fed up for that. She wants someone else. Here we go. Here we go. So that's just a guy. So what's the, the overlap with Zila and that guy? Now, Zila, I feel like the delivery of this Instagram post is best if read in the style of this homeless guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can okay. take that. So she Because says, I use a ring light, but I like it using it, so I bought three new bathing suits for this trip. Only, only one w- really resonates with me. My favorite part of my trip is being naked in the water. I saw two crabs walk with shells on their backs. My friend picked one up and I screamed, here we go. The only fish I ever saw were extremely small. White clear bloody body fish swam with them in the shallow end. The boat was exciting except it... I wanted to drive it. They used to let me drive it before. Not sure why they didn't this time. Here we go. Yeah, I think that's probably (laughs) why they didn't let her operate the boat this time. Then she says, since I changed my name to Zila, I actually... Oh, and that's in all caps, by the way. Yeah, X-I-L-A. All caps when you say the the woman's name. name. Yeah. Uh, I actually am having a hard time understanding English. The dress I wore on my pics is the only dress that actually fits me. When I go out... At night, I like having dinner by myself. And these are all like uh, punctuated by a space and then three exclamation points. Uh And she overuses ellipses, which I also do. So I relate to that. Uh, Then she says, I adore people. That's why I'm telling you guys about this hairspray I'm spraying. Every hairdresser I've had knows I won't shut up about Orby hairspray. But seriously, go buy it. And tell me what the hell you think. It's that good. I think that's just like a, a sponsored post it's by, by Orby hairspray. hairspray. I think Orby Hairspray probably wrote mm-hmm. all that copy verbatim. Then she goes on to talk about how uh, she has a micro microscopic tattoo on her neck in Hebrew. And then uh, her life isn't that great. There's a lot of other things that happen on this trip that I'm not sharing. And I portray everything as completely perfect, but trust me, I've been through it as well. Like, mm-hmm. is she portraying that this is like like a perfect life? It would make other people extremely sad. And honestly, there's not a fucking thing I could do about it. So just know my life is not as perfect as it seems. And remember, yeah. my beautiful friends, you're not alone. Yeah, nobody thinks that, Brittany. We got to save Brittany. We got to lock her back up. Yeah, we got to get her a new we conservatorship. Do. We got to get her a new a different con- guy. Yeah, like maybe not her dad. Um, her uncle maybe. or something. Yeah, cool um, doesn't she have like a little sister, Jamie Lynn Spears? Yeah. Can you give Jamie, Jamie Lynn, yeah. Can Jamie take, Lynn the take care of it? Yeah. All she's doing is taking the kids. I mean, Jamie Lynn really like established her whole career riding the coattails of Britney. It's only fair that mm-hmm. she like takes the reins here and reels real yeah. sis back in. So I think we need to save Britney again. We need to start the Save yeah. Britney Again yeah. movement. We're going to start it right here, right now. So hashtag Save Britney. Again. Yep. Save we Britney bring it again. back, unfortunately. Yeah. And uh, we're going to save her again. We're going to put her back in the conservatorship. Away from her dad. A brand new conservatorship. A better conservatorship. Problem. Her dad's the problem. And like her dad, he's like da- dying or dead or something. Yeah. He's out of the picture if now. If the so. conservatorship was the problem, there wouldn't be such thing. You know? 
So it's a thing for a reason. The government knows best or whatever. Yeah. So we're hoping the social media campaign will, you know, maybe get the ball rolling. Maybe some sort of social worker or judge or somebody can do something. Yeah. Free Britney Spears again, please. Um, another thing that is going to make this episode dangerous that I wanted to talk about. It's already pretty dangerous, man. Like it's already like real, real. I mean, people are are putting themselves in danger by even receiving this information from us. Get some creepy. I want to talk about Bohemian Grove. Bohemian Grove. Yeah. I'm going to pretend like I don't know what it is just for the sake of. For the sake of the show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Let me do. Like a spooky sound effect or something? Some ambiance? I think I have something spooky. Hey, 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 what is going on here? I want to talk about Bohemian Grove. Okay. All right. Bohemian Grove is a place in the woods. It's in Please. Northern California. It's in Northern California. I mean, presumably it's some sort of grove. Mm-hmm. It's a grove. There's trees there. Lots of trees. Surrounded it's by trees. It's very nice. And the country's elite, rich, white men go there. Once, once every summer they have like a big, I, I think it's like a week-long meeting there. And they shoot the shit, they shake hands, they make deals that no, know, they, change all of our lives. Supposedly, they, there's no business no discussed. Deals. That's like a hard rule is no business discussed. But who really, who really knows? Yeah, it could be. Um, you know, yeah. we don't know. We're not allowed in there. So they do these, and allegedly, there's some creepy stuff that goes down in there. I don't think this music fits. No. But it's it's not, started out cool. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's like it doesn't fit the story, though. Yeah, I so think it was the like beginning. A, yeah, the beginning was good. A so pharmaceutical let's, let's like, roll commercial, the like for like Levitra or something. I just didn't like that build up. This is a very happy, upbeat uh, song, but I think we can still tell the story of Bohemian Grove. So this place allegedly has a lot of spooky, creepy shit going down. I feel like this music's still killing it's it. Not, yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah, it's not doing it. It's look. It's, Bohemian Grove is fucked, and it's how Alex Jones got famous is that he snuck into Bohemian Grove, recorded a bunch of video of them on this uh, stage with a giant uh, statue of Moloch, the owl god. Yeah. And they were in robes and cloaks. They yeah, they were, were fire. robes like druids. They sacrifice. Supposedly, it's just um, like a fake child. Yeah. But they're, they're still... Um, like they burn it or do something to to like a fake <coughs> child, which yeah, is slap it extremely it concerning. It. And yes, they have like a burning giant owl mm-hmm. statue that seems like something out of like um an M Night Shyamalan movie yeah. or something like that. They're doing, they're speaking in Latin, speaking in Latin, just acting real creepy. And what's concerning is like these are these aren't just like you know your regular rich guys. These are world leaders, presidents, CEOs of the biggest companies. I mean, we don't have a full list because it's top secret and well well guarded. Yeah, but the but, guest books that have been snuck out of these places like have some elite ass elite people yeah. in there. All the all the big ones. So it's concerning, especially in this day and age of of all these conspiracy theories, where you know, like it's real easy to say like, hey, you know, like that's you know, that's silly, like. You know, Pizzagate, QAnon, all that kind of stuff, which is probably not real. But it's like, how are you going to say definitively that that stuff is just completely cuckoo? I'm doing the thing. Cuckoo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah. when you have this stuff proven to be happening literally every year. Yeah. And I mean, it's. The, we don't have like much evidence of what's going on there outside of the the Alex Jones video yeah. from 2000. There it was, was a while the, ago. Yeah, there was the but, Alex Jones video, and then finally people that went to it started admitting that it existed. Yeah, and like there's like a guy that made a YouTube video <coughs> recently where he like goes there, he breaks in. It's not really that exciting when he's actually on the property, but he goes around and talks to the townspeople mm-hmm. and interviews like the the locals. And some of them are are pretty creepy. And pretty much everyone seems like they highly discourage anyone from going there. And it seems like they they know all too well the the type of people that that come and supposedly before they go there they they come to this like you know small town this small community and try to get like prostitutes and drugs and all that stuff to take into the cuz once you go in you can't come out until it's over mm-hmm. so um yeah it's I mean, like, I, I had heard of it before, but until I watched the YouTube video, I was like, wow, this is, like, really a thing. 
Like yeah. it's, it's got a Wikipedia page. It's like, you know, it's like a, um, like an open secret. Yeah. And this came out and was a whole thing back in 2000. And then it kind of just like went away and nobody talks about it. Yeah. But recently it's been coming up more and more. That guy went and snuck in on that YouTube video. A lot of people have been making things about it. And then what I found was this article about <coughs> Ryan Garcia, who is a boxer, 25 yeah, year old boxer. He's actually been like, Saying some like crazy things all over the place lately, though. Yeah, that's like, ne- not necessarily a credible source. I don't know what he says, but he has a. That's what I heard somebody say that he's it's like CTE. making the, the podcast rounds. Yeah, and he's just saying like a lot of wacky stuff. Yeah, so he was claiming on Twitter that people took him to Bohemian Grove and made him uh, watch and partake in all kinds of creepy shit, and then Andrew Tate. Uh, started a Twitter voice or whatever where you could do like a phone call that everyone could yeah, listen yeah. in on and he talked to him about it and he made all these he was like I don't even give a fuck anymore and made all these crazy allegations against Bohemian Grove which brought it back up into the public lexicon yeah and yeah it's I mean it's interesting um Again, Andrew Tate and Ryan Garcia aren't necessarily hey, the, the All right, talk to us. people I would... Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Where? Bro, they fucking took me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied... Not fucking joking, bro. So, yeah. Uh, pretty harsh allegations. Yeah, yeah, those are some bold allegations. Mm-hmm. Um, should that should we add that to the soundboard? Yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> that would be something that would come in handy regularly. Uh, so <clears throat> with that being, because when I looked up Bohemian Grove, it was all kinds of articles about that from like two days ago. Yeah, and what's like what's kind of like even creepier are some of the ones that seem to like put a normal spin on it because like, you know, like this place isn't secret. Like it exists, you you know, like, and it's, nobody's denying that it exists. Even like the, you know, like people attached to it aren't denying that it exists. They're just denying that it's anything too serious. But at the same time, you're like, okay, we'll prove it. And they're like, uh, no. Yeah. And, and you know, like the, the, the um, media outlet outlets that cover it and try to put a positive spin on it or be basically make it sound like, oh, this is just you know like a like a boys club, like a summer camp for for rich guys to go out have a good time and bond. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Business is strictly off the table, but like, I mean that doesn't it doesn't really line up with like the you know like the druid costumes and burning a yeah. Uh, uh, owl um, some statue and like the, the even even if they're fake the fake sacrifice just all yeah. that shit and like, they're like oh it's a play like what like no no it's a weird play See, but it's not yeah and it's like tradition so how is that anything different than like a ritual yeah and i just feel it's like in tradition, this tradition and it's like a ceremony that you perform that's a ritual i feel like in this <laughs> climate of conspiracy theories and and political distrust it might not be the best thing for them to be doing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's exactly like building any sort of public trust when you're going out there and just doing weird shit like that. Yeah. It's uh, like, well, now, you, you know, is there like a reason? If if that's what it is, is there a reason you can't like, you know, have like maybe one or two reporters just come and check it out? Yeah. Like, what, like you know, it just... It, there's a lot of a lot of unanswered questions, mm-hmm. uncertain times. And then they also were part of a lawsuit recently. Oh where yeah, someone uh, said that they weren't paid. They weren't the paid right wages. Yeah, and they were made to do all kinds <coughs> of like weird like shit that fell out yeah. outside the realm of their job and titles. Work fifteen hour days and then only clock in for eight, so that it looked like they had a forty hour work week. And then they promised to pay them later, and then never paid them. And then yeah. they also didn't keep accurate employment records. Yeah, and it's like if these are the richest guys in the world, like you know, get your bag right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the people that are keeping your secrets should be well paid you think so Mm -hmm. you don't have people coming to the media and drawing attention to your secret society i mean you have all that money like don't be tight with it Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so 
the the people in the lawsuit were um the Bohemian Grove Society or whatever. And then the company that they use, like Paylocity or whatever, to so like a shell company. Oh, it's like a payroll company, right, right? And that's how they got their paycheck. So they sued both of them. Bohemian Grove immediately got out of it because they said, "Yo, we're not like an an employer, right. and these people don't directly work for us. They work for whatever yeah, camp. Yeah, like it I'm was sure there's like a, some sort of third party deal or whatever yeah. where they can wash their hands of it pretty easily. So they were like, you know, uh, we're actually not a part of this, and then they slithered out of it. And then the payroll company was like, we, <clears throat> how would we even know you lied to us and you tried to fraud us and say that you worked eight hour days. So we didn't do anything wrong either. They both got out of it. Look, you see the TV freaking out? Do you see it all like, yeah, I feel like we're talking yeah. about shit we're yeah. not supposed to talk Absolutely about. Absolutely. Like, yeah. Jesus Christ. We should oh, have turned it's the wind. Phones it's the, it's oh. the wind. Oh, yeah, the Remember wind. The ghost? wind makes yeah. it look like it's ghost. haunted. Yep, yep. Everything's haunted with the wind. Um, so, yeah. That's so, wild. yeah, stay out of Bohemian Grove. Um, if you do go to Bohemian Grove, feel free to sound off in the comments below. Let us know what you saw. Mm-hmm. Were you there during the, the I don't know, what would you even ceremony? call it? The ceremony? Rituals? See, I think that's the next step is, you know, you got these YouTubers that are sneaking in there, you know, off season, like go there in the summer when, when the shit's popping off and get in there and make a YouTube video. That's what everybody wants to see. Mm-hmm. Like we don't, we don't care about like looking at their little, their little campgrounds and all that shit. Yeah. So, uh, Jesus Christ, what is with this TV? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Bohemian Grove, hopefully since there's a wave of people talking about it right now, we can kind of blend in with them and not raise any red flags yeah, yeah. with I mean, the elite. Yeah, like I feel like we're not a big enough channel to where we're going to draw too much attention to ourselves no. compared to some of the larger channels that may be talking about it. Mm-hmm. And that might be one of the few instances where, you know, our lack of success really is going to help Save us. us. It's going to, yeah. we're going to pull through in the end. And then all these bigger channels that talk about they it, they're going to get taken off. out. They're falling off, taken yeah. down. And then all of a sudden, like we, we replace them, mm-hmm. and then we eventually we get so successful that we're asked to join the Bohemian Grove, and we can go. And then, you know, we'll come back. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll check it you. out. We'll check it out. We'll tell you what's going on, yeah. and we'll be we'll be honest. Mm-hmm. Like we'll totally tell you yeah. that we'll be on the up and up. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you are a part of the Bohemian Grove Society, or you go there, or you work there, or something like that, hit us up. Sound us up, off. Let us know. I've been trying to join the Freemasons for the past couple of years. Yeah. We've talked about it on the show. Mm-hmm. I I think I put in an application last year and the year before. So I am due to, you know, for my yearly Freemason application. You can apply once a year? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna do that. I'll let you guys know if I, <coughs> you know, make any progress in that. I think that'll probably make it a lot easier to get into Bohemian Grove. Yeah. Because, I mean, like the, the Freemasons, you got to be a Freemason before you can be a Shriner, mm-hmm. which I found out. Oh, really? So I tried to join the Shriners and they were like, you have to be a Freemason for X amount of years before you can be a Shriner. Oh, shit. Because the Shriners are the ones with the fucking with cool the hat hats. And the little car. Yeah. 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 So I was like, man, that looks fucking fresh. Uh, yeah. That's creepy. I thought that. I would have thought that Freemasons were higher than Shriners. On no, the, they're they're apparently related. You know, yeah. it's like a a different level. But yeah, I've I've applied to the Freemasons a couple times, and they always send me a nice email saying that they've received my information and they'll be in touch. Mm-hmm. And then they never they never reach out. And I'm wondering if it's just a front. You know what I mean? Like they make it seem like it's a public organization that anybody can join. Yeah. But then like they're not accepting just anyone. They're not accepting me. That's not how it goes. Yeah. Do you think it could be your last name? Has cost me, yeah. I mean, it sounds it sounds a little a little foreign. Foreign, yeah. It, it sounds does. Russian True. almost. Yeah. I mean, I know yeah. it's not. No, I mean it's it's Czech, which I think is like Russian adjacent. Yeah. I think that's like one of the countries or areas that that Putin's trying Wasn't to take the over. Soviet Union. Yeah, I think or that, you know it's it's over there. It's over okay. there. You know what I mean? It's so, yeah. east. Sounds Russian. Yeah, so I guess I could, I could like, use uh, like a pseudonym, but I think eventually they're going to want you know documentation ID and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think that you just keep trying. Persistence. I mean, I'm I'm like white, that. you know. Yeah. Like, 
You're white. You're, I think once you get the older you get, every year you have a higher chance. And I feel like a lot of the older guys got to be like falling off like flies. You know what I mean? They're going to need to bring in some new blood. That's what I, I mean. don't mean like children's blood. I mean like every year you know, you've like, got new old timers, the elders that are dying. And then you're getting older. So you're less of a young guy, more of an old guy because yeah. they want old guys in there. Yeah. So maybe old yourself up. Do you ever go drop off an application in person or you just do it no, online? No, just online. Yeah. Do you send a picture? I mean, we do have a Masonic temple in, in Paso. So like, maybe I just show yeah. up there and like be like, hey, what's the deal, guys? I feel like if they, you know, like talk to me in person and saw, you know, like my, get my dedication, mm-hmm. they're going to be like, oh, yeah, they'll be charmed. So uh, I kind of want to go and break into Bohemian Grove now that everybody's doing it. Yeah, or like at least like go fly a drone up there or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go look at it. Mm-hmm. It's here in California. It is. So we could just do a day trip. We could. We Sound could go off there. if you want to see a Bohemian Grove vlog. Yeah, that'd be sick. Uh, so another thing I wanted to talk about before we get out of here. Last week we had a uh, March Madness um, oh, yeah. bracket yep. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember what any of the things were. I think the gun one. The gun? I'm pretty sure the gun won the March Madness. Oh, we spread. finished it? Oh, maybe we didn't finish it. I just feel like the gun would win. The gun would win. Okay, yeah. Well, I kind of agree with that, so we should just say... We're going to call the gun the, the winner. I mean, yeah. just, the just by won. sheer force. I mean... It's like, a gun. Yeah, a gun's going to pretty much destroy anything else that was in that that bracket. Mm-hmm. What? Do you remember anything else that was in the brackets? We had smart plug for sure. Yeah, the gun definitely beat megaphone here. Yeah, um, and that, uh, I can't really think of anything else. I want to say there was a lot of like, uh, like things like uh, inanimate things and ideas of things. Yeah, like I think some of them were ham and stuff we don't have. Show related, some of them weren't. Yeah, it was kind of like a mixture. That was a weird list. Uh, but Jerry doesn't have the list anymore. No, he said so, that he lost it. Oh shit. So he yeah. said that he erased it off the board, but he couldn't erase the fucking Ty and Mikey show off the board and put the it's real kinda, show title. Kind of typical. Yeah. Um, so we're going to say the gun one. Yeah. Congratulations to the gun. Um, I think that's a, you know, a real solid win for the gun. Gun's been a, um, it's the outstanding part of the show for the better part of two years now, I want to yeah. say. So gun's been around. It's it had keeps some us classic safe. moments on the show, honestly, like way more moments than computer. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it keeps us safe. It makes it so uh, we feel secure. Mm -hmm. And Jerry can never... uh, It helps us dominate Jerry because in real life, like, I don't really want Jerry to hear this, but in real life, like, Jerry kind of runs the show. And... We, if we speak up to Jerry, it becomes a whole thing, and then he like, yep, yep, he just gets like a really surly attitude, and it just becomes really passive aggressive. So, and he won't unlock the studio, and then we can't get in. Yeah, so it helps just uh, you know have that gun there and just kind of you know like casually, visually remind him that it's there at all times. And now we're in charge when we're on the show. We have the gun, and it's like having a conch shell. It's your turn to talk. Yeah, you know. So yeah, the gun wins. So shout out the gun. Um, Free candy. I'd like to see you do a little bit more to to win next March Madness. So yeah. if you could if you could step up your efforts, that would be fantastic. Actually, I wanted to ask Free Candy. Uh, is there something like Bohemian Grove in Canada? In for Canada. The oh yeah. Canada? Are there secret societies and weird shit like that? Let us know. Yeah. Well, I never knew that. That's crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that. Me neither. Um. So that's it. And if we don't have an episode next week, then we got taken out for saying too much on this episode, bringing up Bohemian Grove and Diddy and uh, that See, fighter I'm guy. Doing like a zip my lip and then bah, throw the zip key. lip. Bah. Throw the key. Is that a three D three D version? Yeah. What if the show is in three D and he watched it with three D glasses? Could we do that? Yeah. I mean, it probably wouldn't be too difficult, right? We need three cameras. One's a red camera. One's a blue camera. camera. One's a regular white camera or clear. And then we just, yeah. And then... You stack them over each other in the edit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you shift them. And then you wear the glasses. You wear the glasses. The glasses are really easy. As long as you have the glasses, then. And then we throw it. 
we could even we could use this as a trial. We could use that throw make right that there. Part 3D. Make that three D. Yeah, I like it. So you could take our three D glasses off now. We're done with the three D segment of the show. And then we'll edit in the part where we say Put on your 3D glasses, because this is the 3D segment of the show. We'll cut that. We'll put it in, in the beginning yeah. of the 3D yeah. thing. Yeah, we'll make it all work. Yeah. Um. So that's it. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um, no, I can't think of anything right at the moment. Uh, Favorite soup? Favorite soup, Split P. Split P. We love you. We'll see you next week. Natural Habitat Recordings.